Hello and welcome to another edition of My Views with the News with me Ian Pelham Turner on ALB UK television and PositiveBritain.co.uk. Today I'm joined again by Buki Olafemi who is going to a, a radio broadcaster and we're going to talk about how do we get more positive news coming into Britain because right now it's coming up to Christmas and we've had the terrorist attack, yeah. we've got the general election, uh, we seem to, and obviously in Albania there's been this terrible news over uh, a current uh, earthquakes happening as well. So we've been trying to fundraise for them at the same time. What will give us more positive news? Over to Bookie. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> Well, uh, you know, thank you for having me again. So I'll start on that. Um, I think you've raised a really good question, you know, and in, um, you know, I think it's really important to have positive news in this ever chaotic world. I mean, we are absolutely just bombarded with negativity. We, every morning we wake up and the first thing we, we are almost um, doused in uh, negative news. So, um, so it, it's nice to have a beacon of a light, a bit of positivity. I think it's really important to have constructive journalism um, and just a pocket, even if it's just a pocket of journalists that are dedicated to seeking, uh, seeking out stories of progress, seeking out stories of positivity, possibility, and um, just stories of resolve you know if it's just a drop of positivity mm. you know there's something to look forward to and we're not deflated without no hope now you've got a master's degree in journalism as well so when you went to i, I don't know is it university did they talk about creating more positive news or, or what, what was the focus right the focus is always no it's not on the hierarchy you know what's drilled into you is like as journalists you seek the truth you know it's really important for us to cover what's going on in our world you know to be neutral to find out exactly what is going on to let the rest of the world know uh, what's happening to get inside um, you know stories that are uncovered and a bit sort of tucked under the table that's what we want to find out and we want to expose and put on a platform what's really going on with the world so really we are taught as journalists um, to seek out stories that is of public interest really. yeah what would a positive Britain mean to you as a person sure um, Positive Britain, it's, uh, you know, the keys in the name, positive. You know, I think it's, um, it's uh, we have to get straight that, um, you know, it's not about telling airy fairy stories so we can feel better about ourselves, but it's this need to um, let everyone know what's happening in the world. You know, there's so much happening in, in this ever chaotic world. And, you know, we, we, we hear with, uh, natural disasters we hear about killings about knife crime about you know poverty and about um, you know um, and almost like you can't trust your next door neighbor sort of it, it creates this environment of you're always looking over your shoulder and um, and that's why I think it's really important to remind people it's not just all doom and gloom mm. and there are people in the world that are doing positive things so mm. now and again let's not let's shine a light on what they're doing uh, yeah. uh, no I totally agree I mean I was listening to a report uh, just before yeah. uh, we started here today and they were talking about people of color in business uh, CEOs of uh, the, the FTSE 100 and from what I understand there's only seven senior executives with people of color right. out of FTSE 100 as well where and how do you start creating the fairness uh, to change that, to yeah. change the stats. Um, you've got to remember it's all about how people see things. So, it, in, you know, if we're, per, you know, perpetuating this negative stereotype of minorities, then why is anyone going to take them on, you know, on, on a professional level? You know, uh, you know, if you're told by the media, you know, you can only get the worst of certain type of people, 
you're not going to want them in your mist. And you know, it, it's breaking these lies and um, just just trying to enlighten the truth, really. The reason that is a reflection, you know, the stats is a reflection of um, people's real attitudes. And mm. um, we don't like to talk about these sensitive issues, but there is institutionalized racism and mm. no one wants to talk about it, but it's mm. there when it's very subtle in a way that you can control uh, the workforce, the, the, the number of the workforce, the proportions of different uh, you know nationalities and mm. and you know it's not about saying you know change the demographic of the workforce and you know um, obviously we're in Great Britain and um, you know for all countries it's uh, you know there's people that live here there, there are British people that live here and it's not about it, you, we're not talking about them taking our jobs because it's already controlled in that sense mm. because you know you you, you know you, you apply for a job and mm. you know in that section there's the equality section and you know and it's tick the boxes and and um, unfortunately it, it's there to create an equal uh, mm. workforce from like you know different backgrounds but people also use it as a quota check mm. as well and this is why we see the small amounts yeah, of minorities in not everywhere not everyone's so negative and mm. some people have got with the times and that it doesn't yeah. phase them but this um this whole we'll keep it 90 percent uh mm. british and uh we'll have a token Asian or token, black person or token, whatever, just mm. to say uh, we're meeting those equality standards. Mm. So I think it's having a perception, uh, a relaxed and a positive attitude. And, mm. and I think if you know the next person that, you know, that's from another nationality, the fears that you have will subside mm. and then it becomes more relational mm. and you get to see the bigger picture that mm. they just come to, you know, it's just really about selecting the people that mm. get the job done. So, yeah. Well, I know within our own channel, ALB UK TV, obviously with PositiveBritain.co.uk yeah. as well, um, we are very pro all people having fairness. Yeah. And I was talking to uh, one of the charities the other day who deal with uh, young people, especially who have been disconnected, who have been thrown out of school, sure. primarily black children, okay. uh, unfortunately, uh, and also talking about their experiences yeah. with knife gangs, drug gangs and so forth. And uh, one of the most surprising things that came out of the conversation was, because right. we started talking about uh, enterprise, right. creating enterprise opportunities here sure. uh, in London with ALB and also with uh, with Positive Britain as well, for young teenagers sure, of all colours, sure. all denominations. Um, but uh, this lady was saying, do you realise how entrepreneurial the leaders of drug gangs are? Yeah. And I'm sat back thinking, did she just say that? <laughs> or did, did I... Yeah, I'm getting old now, folks. So sometimes my hearing goes a little bit. Did she just say... Right, yeah. Did she just say... She said, no. And it suddenly got me thinking. The reality is, if we could change their attitude yeah. of turning their entrepreneurial mm. skills into something positive, positive, that would be a great opportunity for Britain as well. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, I don't know much about the underworld and the criminal, <laughs> uh, you know, side of things. But um, you're right. You know, you do make a point. It's the same skill sets, isn't it? Mm. It's it's the budgeting. <laughs> it's the demographic finding your customer. The yeah. demographic, you know, yeah. uh, you know. So um, yeah. So I, I I agree with you. You know, um, they've got the same skill set ultimately that you need. It's just yeah. in the it's, wrong it's going, area. It's going down the wrong path. Wrong road. It's going yeah. The wrong way. So. What type of things would you like to see mm. happening in a more positive Britain? Yes, equality yeah, is, yeah. is one of them. Do you think um, there's more uh, methods, for example? I, I, I see a change in society. Right. And I think the change in society post-Brexit is, I think, a lot more small businesses will start up. Sure, sure. Uh, part of what we're doing now mm. with Positive Britain uh, .co.uk is to actually start supporting yeah, yeah. small businesses as well oh, and startups, great. helping to find funding for them uh, and helping for them to yeah. grow at the same time. Do you think that should be introduced into schools as well so that yeah. even school children realise mm. they don't always have to go 
to a business, they can have a business mm. of their own. Oh, that's a really good point, because I guess we are so um, automatically um, sort of um, geared up to work for somebody, isn't it? So that's, that's a good notion that you can work for yourself and these are the skill sets you need to uh, get the, the, the jump start to to what you're doing so um yeah that's definitely something that can be uh, integrated into the curriculum and um, maybe it will encourage them to uh, feel empowered enough and uh, confident enough to start their own business yeah. and this might be uh, as you know i'm a great feminist i fight all the <laughs> feminist causes you do, um, yeah. and uh, i think it's important for women yeah. uh, to fight their corner yeah. as well yeah and I, and I think perhaps or something like this, it might instill in school girls sure. that they can create businesses yeah. as well yeah. and do it. I mean, I look at the African community, I yeah. look at the Caribbean community, yeah. and they're great entrepreneurs. <laughs> yeah. They've all got their own businesses. <laughs> oh, God, you know, their own you know, businesses. You know, I go to Peckham, they're, 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 <laughs> you know, which is a place in South London, folks, and, yeah. and uh, you know, every, everybody's working. Yeah, everyone's you working. Know, there's, yeah. there's no unemployment. You know, yeah. they're, they're all on their That's art right. stalls or That's selling right. something. Yeah. Um, and, and there's a spirit yeah. there. You know, and, and I think uh, perhaps the type of spirit that I see, the community yeah, yeah. spirit I see in places like Peckham uh, and in the sort of the, the larger black communities yeah. in London, it's a something uh, alongside the Albanian community, right. which has a tremendous family spirit yeah, again, yeah, yeah. Uh, is something to be emulated now as well and, yeah. and, and, and talked about. Yeah. Um, I agree. It's interesting that you say that actually, because um, my mum was uh, she, uh, she was a teacher, and um, right. So I'm from Africa, and um, you're right. They do have this almost entrepreneurial. It's in. It's ingrained, and unfortunately for my mum, out of five kids, only one of them started his own business you know so nice. uh yeah so um it was this whole idea with thinking outside the box um what you know it, you know is there a gap in the market what what, what can mm. you do to fill it um start your own thing you know and um we'd very much took the route of oh no no at school you know we've got to get this degree and then we'll work for this top top business and yeah. and not realizing um you know the value in making something from scratch and building yourself up so um yeah it is the spirit actually it is a spirit and um it's i guess it's shining the light on on this community that yeah. has a vast array of uh skills really yeah. uh yeah and i think that spirit is in other communities as yeah, well we definitely. look to see what happened on london bridge last week yeah. uh and uh it's been highlighted yeah. that if uh members of the public and public spirit yeah hadn't become involved it, this could have been a lot that's worse right. that's right uh, this that's whole right. sort of situation as well so i suppose public spirit is there mm -hmm. and i suppose really channels like this from now on uh arb uk tv uh and also mm -hmm. you know opportunities like positive Film, i think we need to highlight yeah. a lot more good yeah. that's happening in britain today that's right you know because we you know we, we get to a point where I think we get so used to mm. negative news, news yeah. we almost switch off. Well, we do, because why wouldn't you? You know, like, if you hear it every day, you don't expect any different. And actually, it, it creates almost this, there won't be any better, this is it, and this is what we've got to grind through and get used to. And um, it's, it's quite depressing in the way, because you don't expect anything better and without realizing it can actually be it's quite depressing that you know i hate to say it but there's days i just don't want to read the news and first mm. thing in the morning before i've started my day and mm. there's no hope no sort of light no sort of you know so i think it's important to have um pioneers of constructive criticism yeah. criticism so just just seeking out stories that bring a progress um resolve uh, possibility mm. I think it's important and I remember yeah. I mean there are times when there used to be uh, on some of the television channels right. their news items sure. at the end they yeah. used to have a positive item and they would find it anywhere in right. the world just to have a positive item yeah. as well yeah. Yeah. of news and I think it again it's important mm. now uh, to actually perhaps uh, as we are going to yeah. you know uh, on ALB UK TV and uh, 
positive Britain sure. to actually focus on yeah. positive things in the future That's as well. Right. Yeah. You know, to, to actually highlight the good things that are sort yeah. of going on. Yeah. So finally today, you know, if, if you had your magic wand, <laughs> right. what, and, and, and she, she smiles so well when I give her I her do. magic wand. You know, Cause, cause she's magic anyway, folks. She's Thank magic you. anyway. Thank you. What would be the one thing that I think would change Britain quickly? Uh, right. I think it's um, a creating the positive mindset. It's changing the way um, we look at things, I guess, and not stopping at the gloom, doom and gloom and just uh, uh, almost giving up and just saying that's it. I think it's looking, uh, shining light on people that are doing great things and um, getting behind what they can do. And in doing that, I think it's a knock on positive chain, uh, a knock on effect. And uh, I, would, I would like to see um, shining light and more positive charities or just in schools and uh, maybe sitting down and uh, for as we discussed the young people just saying oh you can do this and all your skills you can transfer to doing this and all your ideas and your passion you can use the tools we give you to make it a reality so I guess it's uh, a positive mindset um, yeah I think that's key I think that will fit all out into everything else Excellent. As always, <laughs> Buki, a font of knowledge and a font of inspiration as well. Oh, thank so you. thank you so much for your time today. Thank you for having me. So that's uh, my latest My Views for the News on ALB UK TV and PositiveBritain.co.uk. Uh, thank you so much from this wonderful lady again. She's very, very inspirational within all our communities and a great radio broadcaster. Just tell me again, which, which, which is your radio station again? Right, sure. So I'm a presenter for Pulse 88. And again, um, it, we, we just have a great time. So I do, I put together a two hour show there and uh, we do everything from games to interviewing artists. And uh, we just have a bag of fun <laughs> really excellent uh, right yeah so um also viewers in you know uh they can also catch me on instagram at uh, uh, brookie that's b-r-o-o-k-y uh four four two well there you go <laughs> well done so guys thank you so much thank you for watching i hope uh, if you're watching from albania things are not too troubled for you right now as well uh and from london uh we're all rooting for Albanians right now and trying to find ways, of positive ways of actually helping you as well. So for me, Ian Pelham-Turner and Bookie Olofami, it's goodbye for now and have a great day.